What's going on, everyone? Back at it again. We got a short, short, short video this time. Got my youngest one here. He's playing, what are you playing, Xbox? My rock. What game is it? My rock. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> the issue is the resolution of Xbox is smaller than the resolution of, you know, what the tip TV will typically be. Which is making it look just, you know, horrible and hard to see. So, as you guys can see, we got Roblox here. It's just small. Absolutely small. That resolution. It's not the TV. It's it's the console. So, go into settings. And press your uh, Xbox button. And we're going to go to TV. Display. The resolution is 640 by 480. Okay. Press the button. It should bring down more additional options. It should. So that's telling me we got something else going on. Select Calibre TV. Next. Next. So this is what we want to adjust. Let's see if it will let us. It's not doing it. Hmm. It's not giving us options to even change the resolution. All right, uh, this is what we can do. Let's pull the HDMI cable. This is what we can do, HDMI cable. Let's go ahead and remove it and reconnect. Yep, and there we go. So, that did it. All right, now. No, I didn't play it. So do you want to keep this? We're going to hit no. And let's see now with Xbox. Okay, now Xbox adjusted the resolution. Now I'm going to back out of this. And then I'm going to go back to this. And bam, now it says it, 1080p. And that's what the resolution should be. And the other option will be 720. That was more so a glitch. And it seemed like it had to do more so due to the fact this HDMI cable being loose. Also, one thing that I didn't notice too is we didn't have sound. So now we have sound, we have good video. So that means uh, issues resolve. So yeah, guys, uh, sorry for the crazy cam view. You know, it's hard to hold the camera and hold the controller to get this resolved. Again, it's supposed to be a quick video. Hopefully it's been informative for you guys, hopefully. But uh yeah so it doesn't matter which type of xbox console you have it could be xbox 360 it could be xbox one it could be xbox one s xbox series s and x yeah uh it also could be on playstations yes you did that okay cool man and also on consoles uh if you're having this issue where your resolution your image just became small and actual tv remote you hit the menu and it's it's fine like the menu displays fine of the tv shows display fine check your hdmi cable okay guys so i also wanted to point out another option that will likely work for you guys so what you would want to do is you go over to advance you select video fidelity and overscan okay select that option there so by default it's on auto detect so what you would do is you would select hdmi if you have an hdmi connection now say for instance you don't have hdmi you have dvi so then you would select dvi connection and what that is going to do is going to override your current display settings all right you select that it's going to override the settings as you can see the settings will override it now when the settings are overrided it should allow you to select a display resolution so as you can see, it's at the 6040 by 480. Now, when I actually select the drop-down list, I do have an option to increase the resolution. So right now I set it for 1080p and boom, the display is back, okay? Again, video fidelity and overscan is another option where you can actually readjust your display. The major thing that I pretty much attempted to do is, you know, first thing I tried to change the resolution, wasn't an uh, option available in the drop down list to change it to. Then I went to select Calibrate TV. After I went through the, the process of calibrating the TV, 
uh, such as you know going through your prompts, making adjustments. That still did not present an option for resolution, and the display was still too small. So, after going through the Calibrate TV, what I decided to do is disconnect the HDMI connection while the Xbox is on. Again, I disconnected the HDMI connection while the Xbox is on. The Xbox is a gaming console, which the console is basically like a computer system. You can disconnect the HDMI connection while the Xbox is on. It's not gonna cause any issues. So it's just like the computer, you disconnect the HDMI, video signal is lost, you reconnect it, video signal is gained, all right? After I disconnected and reconnected the HDMI connection, my display for my son's TV, it, it was resolved. Now let's say for instance, in your case it doesn't work, again, try video fidelity and overscan the under display select override switch it to hdmi and then go from there hopefully guys this video has been helpful to you guys if you're not subscribed to my channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button and most and definitely don't forget guys if you're not subscribed to my other youtube channel which is priority hall and junk removal I'll show you guys real quick this is my channel right here priority hall and junk removal llc these are videos from my business YouTube page. As you can see, that's me. Again, priority haul and junk removal. So I got the audio off. But as you guys can see, this is me. This is my business channel, priority haul and junk removal, LLC. Check out my YouTube channel. Subscribe to that channel. Show your love, because I'm definitely going to return the love. Holla at y'all later. Peace.